And today I'm going to show you how to use cross to build Docker images for multiple architectures. So let's take a look at the simplest Docker file ever who will only output hello crossword. Let's check if we have any Docker images on our machine. The answer is no. So we will build our image from scratch. And that's it. Let's run it to check if it's working. It's working great. Hello, cross world. So now we'll simply push it to our repository, Docker Hub. Okay. Let's check Docker Hub and we have our image which is available. So now let's go on a Raspberry Pi. We don't have any Docker images, so we will simply pull our working image and we can now run it. And it's not working. Why? It was working when I built it seconds ago. The answer is we built it on an MD64 machine. So it will work for all MD64 machines, which is a lot, but it won't work for other architectures like IRM, ZOS, poor PC, etc. etc. So now let's see how we can use cross to solve this problem. Let's install it. Okay, let's launch the cross init command we will set up our machine. We only have to run it once. Okay, so initialization is complete. So now we will simply take our docker build command and change it with the cross build command. So what cross will do? Cross will build the images, the image for all popular architectures like MD64, IRM, ZOS, 86-bit machine, poor PC. Okay, the build is complete. So now we have available images for all popular architectures. So let's take our docker push command and let's just change docker by So now Cross will push any available images and it will also push the manifest list. So what will happen? On Docker Hub, we will have images for all popular architectures and we will put a manifest list in front of them. The manifest list will redirect a Docker pull command to the good image. So when the docker pull command will come from an ARM based machine, it will call the manifest list and the images who, which will be pulled will be the ARM one. So cross is pushing. Let's check on docker hub. So we'll have multiple tags, one for ARM for MD64 one for ARM v6, ARM v7, v7, sorry, from French. One for ARM64. Okay. So today, cross support multiple version of ARM, ZOS, poor PC. 86 machine and obviously MD64. Okay, let's check again. We have ZOS, which is available. Eighty-six Pro PC and it will also push the manifest list. Pull up 
this is okay and the manifest list is pushed so we can check it okay so the manifest list will reference all the other images so we can go on any platform server just pull our images and like magic it will run okay so that's how you use cross to build multiple platform docker images